Yeah, hi, welcome to the shed. We've got a problem with the, um, the little chainsaw. It just won't idle anymore, it keeps stopping. Now, <clears throat> it is getting on for eight years old now, and uh, it's an old cheapo Chinese thing. And we've kept it going. It's, it's been going really, really well, punching above its weight all its time. <laughs> Here comes the train. But anyway, um, what we're going to do is uh, open it up. It's either the idling screw or there's a gasket blown in the carburetor or something like that. It just won't idle properly. So I'm going to take it to pieces, have a look, and we'll see what's what. So what we're going to do is rip the lid off. We'll take this bit off, which is just the, the cap when it wants to come off. There it is. And there's the air cleaner. We'll take that out. We don't need those bits. We'll put them aside for the moment. Remembering where we put them, always important. Now, what I had going on with this chainsaw, it wouldn't idle. Now, I thought, aha, I know exactly what the problem is. And if you look down here, there are two wee screws. There's the one in the front, which is the low idle, and the one in the high, or the one on the, the left is the, or closest to you, is the high idle. That's what I thought was wrong, until I looked at this. Look at that, can you see that? It's supposed to look like this one here. Can you see the difference? There's the two screws. That one's in, that one's only half in. So I thought to myself, I might know exactly what to do and I'll screw that one back in place till it looks the same as that one. Can't get it any tighter than that. We've got another one right here. All the screws are nice and nice and tight and i did use this one this morning before i started with the the big chainsaw but this one works too and there we go so we that's our screwing it back up and that's all you have to do to put the the air cleaner on and everything and that's nice and tight and ready to go again well, there you go. So we've saved ourselves a fair amount of money because um, I thought it was going to be expensive to fix and it looks like I fixed it myself. <laughs> Who knew? But anyway, so we'll get back to work and uh, do a bit more cutting. We haven't got a bad amount of wood in the shed at the moment and in a, in a pinch it could do us for the rest of the year, uh, for the season anyway, but we'll do a bit more this week. Um, today's Wednesday, we'll be doing tomorrow on Friday, and I think that might see us through, which will be great. Yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can hardly wait. There we go, and oh, I've got my slate marker. So we'll actually do the professional thing. One, two, three, there we go, look at that. Lovely. Oh, I'm sitting here with my radio mic on, Got my pretend ovation guitar with me, which needs new strings. I'll have to get some um, 9 to 42s for that. Uh, yeah. And my Ernie Balls. And I've got the glow in the dark ones too. Thanks, Erin. Thanks to Erin. These are the glow in the dark ones. Fantastic. So. That's that. And we've got the chainsaw fixed, which is good. And we did a bit yesterday too. Today's Friday, it's Friday evening, um, about nine o'clock at night. So we've got all that done. Shed's looking good as far as wood is concerned. We can always do a bit more, which we will do. Anyway, it's almost time to put this video to bed. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell and do all that terrific if you would and we'll see you next week catch up with you then